All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's class. Um, my name is Franca Brown, and today we'll be showing you how to sew the back and how to turn the neck of the front. Now, on our previous class, on that pleat design I did, I just showed you in case you want to do yours. On this one, I don't really need it because I'll be bidding everywhere and stones and all that, so I don't need it. So my wedding dress is going to be plain. My bid will do the rest design. So I already showed you how to do it in case you want to do it. So today we'll be doing the back, and I want to show you my hat fit, you know, made by Franco Brown. I'll be dropping an illustration on how I made it on my Facebook page, you know. So that is that. I'll be dropping an illustration on how I made this you know, cloth. I'm wearing this simple design on my Facebook page on FB So to Shape. So if you want to know how I make it, join us there. Bye. Okay, so this is the front. You can see the cup shape already. Even when we've not added the, the cup inside, you can see how it is. It's looking nice now for those of you that have been how do i get this allowance after removing so many inches you will still have it so let's see how many inches allowance we still have here mm, we still have up 23 you see it's even more than the allowance so don't be scared you have plenty plenty allowance so this is our main um cloth now this is the lining i joined the lining the same way i joined my main fabric so i will be turning it Please, I'm not making a yoke style because the style is tube. But I will still show you how to do it if you want to do it. So I will just place middle to middle here and sew according to the front neck all down. So I'm starting from the middle. From this middle, now I'm going to sew all the way down here. Please remember this video is from Franca Brown Design. You can join me on YouTube and all that. So this I'm gonna sew it now. So after I finish sewing this part, I'm going to sew the other part. Can you see it? So that's that to sew it. So just do yours to be back. So we finished joining it. I'm gonna nudge. Please, I also turn the arm O. I sew to the arm O side. So I'm going to notch like this. Just use my scissors to make a tip. Can they see it? Yeah. I'm just making a tip here. Now when I get to this middle, this V shape here, I'm going to make sure my notch is very close to my seam. So that that place can turn very well and that is that it's nudging i will just turn out the next thing you are just to do is to press the edges with iron now for the side i'll leave the side first when i'm doing the joining so you can see it now you can see how neatly it is so by the time you turn the inside, it's going to look like this. So and this is the house side. So you see, you know. So let's go back to the back. Um, now we've come over to the back. Now please, I want to... Okay. So I want to make illustration for the yoke style. But I'm not adding it to this one though. No. Now remember this is the piece we cut out from the back. Now this is my vein net. I want to put the vein net. I will just place it. Now if I cut according to this, I'm going to cut according to this whole shape. But for the length, I will increase it with about half inch. Because I need to join it back. Now that half inch is for my joining. Yes, it's for my joining. So I will cut it a bit longer than this one. Not to affect my length so that is it fabric i got it also together with the lining i cut the same pattern please the only thing i did here i just separated it all i just separated the the middle just share it into two because remember we're putting it in this so this is the back 
this is also cut another piece is also for the lining now we are going to put that line on this and back too so first thing i'm going to do now i'm going to turn with my lining front facing front like this now before i turn let's imagine that this is the the v i cut now and i want to put this one now i'm going to place this one like this first inside now place my lining like this then sew the edge so by the time you turn it out the sewing will be inside mm -hmm. i'm just doing it for illustration but i don't need it so now i'm still going to sew this edge like this just like that i'm just going to sew this edge and this part finished so just so you to be back so i'm going to repeat this yoke style again though for example now this is my vein net for example this is my main fabric before I sew, I'm going to put this V like this inside. Then bring my lining and use it to cover it. Then just sew the edge. So by the time you turn inside, it will not come out like this at the top. Mm -hmm. That's it. So now we are done with the back as you can see. So this is it. This is the inside the outside so the next thing i want to do now is to put my dart line so i'm just going to measure from here from this middle here to my dart line four inch from this down also i'm going to mark where four inches now my dart is start from the up to the down like this so i'm going to pick here i hold my dad so do yours to the back now i want to put my dad please i turn to the wrong side so i'm only picking one side first it's on one side first so i'm going to put the same dart in the other line now you can see that the dart is inside the fabric so both will be covering each other like this so now i'm still going to pick here from the inside this is how i did it i just open it mark where my dart line goes and then just sew it down so you do your silver back so this. as you can see now we've already had our dart so if you see the inside and the outside the doubt is invisible because we sewed it inside so that will be all for today on our next class we're going to show you how we're going to join the back and the front together and to go about the thread so thank you for staying with us bye